Welcome, I'm your host, Logan23, joining me for the Cursed Prince, Chapter 18. Spread down the road as fast as your legs can carry you. I haven't run this long since I was in middle school. I don't look really out of shape. Cyrus really isn't much better. Hey, Cyrus. You're big and strong. Are you a smoker? <laughs> I thought you were big and strong. I saw you were seeing how you could take on 12 guys. Oh, are you out of breath? I am strong, but fighting isn't tiring as, as running. Well, we'll just need to get to the castle. We'll be safer there. You pull Cyrus by the arm behind you as you both run. Feels like you're, you've been running for an hour, but it's probably only about ten minutes. Let go of Cyrus's hand as you get to the top of the hill door to the castle is in sight. That's when you feel the sharp pain. Your hair is being yanked hard from behind. You feel the hard thud as you're pulled to the ground. The blur of your eyes tearing up prevents you from seeing who it is, but you know who would have done it. Cyrus. You're pulling Gregory seriously. What are you, 12? Anyway, how did he catch up with us that fast? <clears throat> Anything to get your attention now. Now just acknowledge that you're being a complete idiot about all this and we'll get along fine. Or, here's just a suggestion. You can go fuck yourself, Greg. Oh, you idiot. You're the idiot. It's you who's the idiot, idiot. I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh my god, you're both goddamn idiots. Don't be a child. You're a child, a foolish child. Oh, very mature. You're only approving my point. You both were calling each other an idiot for like two minutes, but okay. You're a point. An ignorant? You're a point? What? Oh my god. You're... Let's go with it. You're a point. An idiotic, childish point on a stupid, dumb... Ni oh. <sighs> That's a long delivery, but sure. I've got nothing else to say to you. Good, my plan worked. If you just let us have the monster, we'll release you from whatever spell you're under, and you can go home. You can go back to your normal life. Your straight A's and perfect attendance. That's what's important to you, isn't it? So, set up with... Get up off the grass, say sweet little apology to me, and we'll be done straight away. You finally look away from Gregory and see five of the men from the mob holding Cyrus down on the ground. Worthless mongrels! Henrietta, are you done chatting with that brat? I'd like your input on how to proceed. Well, Cyrus seems totally unfazed. I guess he's not afraid at all. Ah, uh, they're probably getting gra gas grass stains all over the new clothes I gave him. I don't need to be thinking about that right now. <laughs> That's what a mother would think. My son's getting his ass kicked. Damn the grass stains I'm gonna have to wash. Not when I have a moody teenager throwing a fit and pulling my hair. Gregory moves to stand over you now that you're completely laying on your back. Okay, you guys win. Fine. I can see that I made a mo made a mistake. He's a monster. I don't want any trouble. You win. See? I know you'd come around. Just look at that thing. It's... At the exact moment, you pull your leg free to good use. You bring up your knee swiftly and nail Gregory right in the danglers. <sniffs> he goes down and lands on the ground, groaning. Looks like Mr. Ba Black and Blue Balls dropped the knife to clutch his goodies. While Gregory rises in pain, you grab the knife. You make a mad dash towards the five guys trying to hold down Cyrus. They are struggling to pin him down, but Cyrus is outnumbered. Alright, I can almost reach the closest guy. I'll pull him back by the hair, hit him in the head with a knife handle, stab him in the shoulder. Hit him in the head with a knife handle. Using the butt of the knife, you crack him in the back of the head with all your might. He spins around and faces you. His face rises in pain, and he drops to his knee before falling flat on his face. I hope he's unconscious. I don't think I can pull that off again. With one of the members of the mob, Angry Mob, off of him, Cyrus is able to fend off the rest without losing control of himself. 
good on Cyrus for staying calm. I wouldn't want to have to explain a bloodbath to the cops. Cyrus stands and calmly struts over to you with a downright regal gu gait. Well, my lady, I don't suppose all the diplomacy and kindness you've been teaching me will get out of the situation, will it? Nope. Uh, good old fast and ash kicking will do the trick. You ready? Cyrus moves behind you so you're back to back as the mob forms a circle around you. The weight of the knife in your hand tight grip is making your hand numb. It isn't exactly heavy, but you know it's going to get used, and that's what makes it heavy. We don't have a plan. We don't have the signal. I think the best plan of attack is to just attack. You lunge at the first guy in front of you, slicing the knife through the air. These guys aren't trained killers. They're not very good at dodging. Granted, I'm not a trained killer either, but at least I've got used a knife before. I can't say Mom and Dad never taught me anything, can I? You can tell that Cyrus is fighting someone behind you. You hope he has some sort of weapon as well. Yeah, super strength. <laughs> Wait, what am I thinking? Cyrus is way smarter than these guys, and he's super strong. He'll be fine. The guy you're fighting grabs you by the arm. With his other hand, he goes for your throat and tries to choke you unconscious. I'll elbow him in the nose, bite him in the arm, use my words. Let's minimize the violence. Elbow him in the nose. Bring your elbow back hard and land it squarely on your nose. It gushes out like a fountain, getting blood all over your shoulder. It releases you to tend to his nose, and you tend to the next guy. You hear a loud scream, or maybe a growl, you're not sure, but you know it came from Cyrus. You swing your head to look. You see him yanking his fangs out of the throat of one of the guys he's fighting. Looks like Cyrus is taking care of himself. Uh, let's hope he's not having too much fun. There's his black eyes lock with yours, and he takes a second to flash you a thumbs up before he tears his next victim. Oh my god! Don't worry, Henrietta. I'm only snacking. You whip your head back around and come into contact with a fist. You're stunned by the feel and the sound of knuckles making contact with your nose. Blinking your eyes and gingerly touching your nose, you find that you're bleeding a lot and it won't stop anytime soon. Your head is spinning, and when you finally get your footing back, you wipe your eyes and see Gregory. Looks like someone grew up here and is ready to fight again. Well, bring it on. Let's get this over with. You're getting tired and dizzy from the headache that comes from being punched in the face. Grass stains on my butt, blood dripping on my nose, fists raised. And I'm standing by an abandoned castle with a guy older than dirt fighting Gregory Rice. If someone told me a few months ago I'd be here, now, doing this, I would have called them crazy. You should have stayed out of this sweet stuff. You would have been safe. <clears throat> Play along. Oh, please, Gregory. He must have put me under some kind of spell. Please help me. I'm so scared. You reach your hand out to Gregory. He's stunned. He lowers his guard and draws close to you. I know, sweet stuff. That's what I told everyone. I knew you would never fall for... Rush Gregory like a berserker, fists flailing and teeth bared. He's caught off guard and you land a right-handed punch to his jaw. He stumbles back a bit, but composes himself quickly. He comes for you. You duck out of the way of his left hand, but can't avoid his right fist, which swings hard into your gut. He knocks the wind out of you and you stumble backwards. I'm not done with him. Grab Gregory by the shirt collar. You pull him towards you and everything you've got and slam your head into his own, knocking him out cold. You turn to check on Cyrus and see that now he stands alone, blood dripping from his fangs. The mob is down. You walk to him, spitting out the blood that had filled your mouth from your nose. It makes you choke a bit. Are they dead? No, I controlled myself for you. Cyrus, I... I'm feeling dizzy. I'm not sure I can walk. I'm not surprised it's my fault for not being able to keep you safe. I'm sorry. No, I'm okay. You should have seen the other guy. <laughs> it's time to go home. We both need rest. You agree? You lean on his shoulder and your arm hopping. Wait, on his shoulder and arm, hoping your legs won't give out on you. The dizziness is bad. You need to lay down. Before you know it, Cyrus sweeps you up into his arms and carries you toward the doors of the castle. You fought well. Perhaps I could show you a few things with a sword. I think you could do wonders. He looks down at you in his arms, and you weakly nod your head. Sure, Cy. Whatever you say. Aww. 
That's sweet, but the question is now, what is the quote-unquote mob of five guys going to do? Are they going to run back to town and be like, Help, Marjorie! Help me! <laughs> You're a witch, Marjorie! Help us! Though technically no one except for us knows she's a witch. Technically, but... Uh, with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, head down to the description below. There's links to social media, links to our Discord. You can come hang out with me as well as others. And a few links to support me and my content. It's greatly appreciate if you do so. It helps with a lot of things, not just Diamond Editions. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and think once again, thanks for watching. Peace.